Welcome back. I'm Tyler. You're watching Scarfing Scarves and welcome to the first edition of a brand new series I'm calling Frock Talk. I've seen a lot of comments from you guys asking for me to go through every single fracking dress in all seriousness, so now I'm going to do that whether you want me to or not. One dress at a time, one week at a time, God knows how long it will take. All right, let's begin at the beginning with a very special dress. My first brand dress from Angelic Pretty. First, we gotta dig it out. This is the Miracle Candy Going Out set. It came with a small bag, uh, some socks, and two little hair ribbons. And it is adorable. And it's got everything that I love about it. This takes me, this takes me so far back. I got this back in the live journal days, as I'm so fond of calling them, and I'm sure other people do too who immediately want to age themselves irreparably. But this, this frock, I swear, I don't wear it enough. I mean, it seems simple in comparison to AP's newer, you know, newer releases, but this carries so much nostalgia for me. It's just got little candies and, and stars, and I know peppermints are candies too, but I feel like pointing them out. It's got little jars of them. There's little gumballs and suckers. And it's just so much nostalgia. It's got this gigantic bow, this unreasonably large bow, honestly, but I love it. And it's so beautiful. And this set was released in 2010. It is done in 100% cotton, which you don't see so much anymore, especially with this cotton lace here. I'll make sure to get detail shots of the cotton lace while I'm battering my wardrobe back and forth. And it also has adjustable straps in the back, two of them two little adjustable buttons so you can drop it down if you're, you know, the size of a sequoia. There's another tall joke. And I think it has, oh my god, it has pockets. It's got one pocket. It's got two pockets. It's got pockets. Oh, I love it. I'm sorry. I'm just like, I'm looking at the glitter and all in the giant bow and the candies. Oh god, so many memories. The little ribbon lace. They still use the ribbon lace today, and it's kind of a mesh lace, so it's different. And it's just beautiful, and I love it. And I'm showing it to me again. I'm just gonna keep doing that. Look at it. Look how pretty it is. Oh god, I love it so much. Everything about it is just happy memories of my start in this fashion, and being so excited to get my first, like, real brand dress. Like, I was a real Lolita then. Like, no, no offense to any body line or Taobao or otherwise off-brand or any Lolitas. That was just how I felt at the start of, like, my Lolita journey, to make it sound like lifetime mini documentary style. But seriously, this was a huge, like, huge step for me back then. Just getting my first angelic pretty dress and being able to wear it in my podunk town in the middle of Nowheresville with more cows than people and just feeling like, just magical. I wanna wear this one again now. I just, I wanna wear it out forever and ever. And I'm gonna keep it until the day I crumble into a pile of dust because I have to introduce existen existential crises into whatever I do. But it's beautiful and I love it. And I will treasure it forever, rick rack and all. So I hope, I hope that gives you an inkling into what Frock Talk will be about. It's gonna be me losing my shit about one dress at a time until I get on your everlast goddamn nerve. It's gonna be amazing and horrible and frightening at the same time, and I love it so much. Oh my God. I'm just gonna have five minutes of me staring at it in silence doing nothing because I love it. It's got candies. It's got hearts. It's got candy canes. It's got like ice pops, which I didn't even notice until now because I'm a terrible brand whore. I've owned this dress like for a decade. Notice the ice pops now, horrible, awful. But I will include some beautiful detail shots with or without me talking so you can experience this dress without my constant, constant nattering. I think, I think that about does it, yeah? I think we covered it? But one last look at Miracle Candy going out set my first angelic pretty dress ever that I will love forever and ever. We gotta put it away now. Back into the hoard. 
If you see a dress that you particularly want me to address next time, you should comment below. Because even though I ran out of time to read as many comments as I used to, I do interact as much as I can with my patrons. So if you are a patron, please, please, please comment and tell me which one you want me to do next, if any, or I can just randomly choose whatever. And we'll continue this series of pain and destruction and too many words for one sentence. So that's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you for watching Scarfing Scarves, and be sure to tune in next week for... Uh, more of this, our new series, Frock Talk with Tyler Willis. This show is sponsored in part by BB&B. Link to their shop below. They make the best fracking jewelry ever. I love them so much. And to wrap things up with a big fracking bow, I'd like to thank my patrons for participating in creating strange new content. We are on a new roll. We're going to new awkward places where I don't have built-in shtick. So anything could happen. That's the exciting part. The disappointing part is that it won't. Anyway, and if you would like to join their number, you should head over to patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews for more content that is somehow more organized than this and yet not. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you next time.